Hey, and welcome to a new game. It's been a while, figured I'd play another map here. Um, this is Nobles Club 314. A recent Nobles Club game. Um, apparently we have high C level. Not sure what kind of map it is. Um, I'm playing Justinian, Deity Difficulty. Quite like Justinian, although there's really no objective reason for it. He's not the not the best by any means. The, the starting techs are pretty pretty poor. The cataphract is very situational. Twelve strength knight, which I barely ever use. Um, if I played without tech trading, this would maybe see more action. With tech trading, this this knight error is just seems to go fairly quickly. Doesn't last too long, and then you might as well go for pure series at that point. Hippodrome, yeah, theater, better version of a theater. So that's nice. Um, I I do like the like the trades are not the best, obviously spiritual, imperialistic, but uh, I like the cheaper settlers. Spiritual, no anarchy is nice. And with imperialistic and you know having the poor starting ticks, you can sometimes go settler first. So there are some openers you can do despite not having the quickest uh, start with you know the wheel and mysticism. Anyway, we are playing the map here. It's uh, if it's high sea level, that means where do I check that? Um, yeah, uh, almost 800 land tiles, so it's on the smaller side. No, um, six AIs like normal. No Mansa Musa in the game. Okay, let's just play a little bit. So we have the start here. Red corn is nice, especially for Justinian, since if I had a plains cow, it would take me some time to to research. Animal husbandry. Um, I was gonna say that I will go on a die if I don't find anything special, and yeah, the sheep is like whatever. Really, seems like that's the coast also. So if I go here, I just ruin potential fish spots, and this gives me plus one commerce on you know for the rest of the game pretty much. Lose the wine, lose the hill, but yeah, whatever. And yeah, so that's Constantinople. Go worker first, obviously. I will pick agriculture on turn five. Uh, for first five turns, um, like if you meet, you, you can just deselect the tech, not take anything essentially, store the beakers from the turn, and then select a tech on turn five and all the beakers will go into that. Reason I'm doing it, well, one reason is that if you are not sure what to select in the first five turns, you can delay the decision, you know, scout a bit and see what happens and then pick your tech. In this case, obviously, yeah, I, I'm going for agriculture, pretty much no matter what happens. But since DTI is all start with agriculture, I, I meet maybe one or two of them. I get a little discount uh, if if guys that you know have already researched a technology, you get a discount towards that technology. So I'm at Gilgamesh. Not sure that really helps me getting like a significant discount, but maybe I'll meet somebody else. You know, it's turn two. Maybe I'll meet one more guy, two more guys. It's a small map. Could happen. Then I will save a few beakers, and since this is a rather low commerce start, I mean, it's okay with a die and, and, and all that. I don't mind having some, you know, I take every little advantage I can get pretty much. So, we are going worker first, um, turn three. We met Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh, creative, not the 
best kind of neighbor also has that Val vulture six strength x-men so probably not the kind of guy you want you know to have on your border not the most aggressive maybe we can befriend him i got the gold here which i'm curious about um wouldn't mind grabbing that it's also wet rice so that's not a bad city but he didn't settle his second city yet apparently and that's his capital so uh, it's fairly close yeah so never mind that's where I would have gone but that's not going to happen now is it and now you have a decision you can get the gold on its own I mean you couldn't know that you know knowing that maybe I would have moved my settler I mean yeah sure this is a better capital if you put it here but who the hell could have known that no, I got the stone, which might come into play. I, I don't think so, though. Um, with Justinian, most of my early game will be getting agriculture, mining, maybe archery. Oh, I met Darius. I'll probably watch Gilgamesh because. Hmm, yeah, maybe Darius is better. The thing is, I'm more afraid of Gilgamesh, and I would maybe like to know what he goes for. On the air. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's easier to get Gilgamesh to friendly because he likes monarchy. And knowing what he takes, either if he's like if he's, if he's my friend, I can know what he takes and kind of um, work around that. Take something else. And if he's my enemy, maybe I, I want to know when he gets construction, for example. And he will probably not like uh, Darius too much, yeah. So I should get vision of his tech quite quite soon, because he will put his points towards Darius. No. Music is a bit... Wait a second. Yeah, it's turned down the, the sound on my part a little bit. I have the music and all that on. Yeah, I do. Okay, so worker first, agriculture. After that, mining is pretty. There's really no other option. So I at least three people on this continent. Um, yeah, Gilgamesh is a bit of a. I want to know if there's anything with the stone there. Yeah, not... Not really. Hannibal, okay. Okay, this guy will attack me, but it's a good fuck-busting position. Or, well, actually this would be maybe better. Grabbing the... Yeah, you know what? Him being creative. I won't even... It won't even. It wouldn't even be that easy to even get the gold. To be honest. Yeah, in like forty-five turns, we will get another border pop. By that time, I would need to have a monument built, and that's not really worth it. I think a Gilgamesh. Seems to have nowhere to go really except towards me, which is a bit. This mining actually, yeah, mining is good. Okay, so at least we got an experience point, yay. Um, really, it doesn't seem that easy to really grab. 
like land here or something. I have this potentially. I have yeah, I have some, I have something to work with. I need I need scouting information. So once my warrior is fully healed, I don't think I want to bother with this. Um, yeah, I don't want to bother with that stone. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that kind of game. To sacrifice quite a bit just for a chance to grab the pyramids. Uh, the second city has to go here. I need to immediately start working on that. Um, I have to delay defense, so no, no archery or anything. Not sure if I will go for archery, but it's definitely a possibility. Hannibal got a religion, and there's Darius. Yeah, that's very. The man who moves a mountain begins by very close, very close. Stone. Shouldn't he have free commerce on that? Yeah, he does. It's a visual bug. Oh, and he has. Um, That's horses, yeah. He has no slavery yet, no burns working. He has horses here though, which means immortals. Ah, oh, let's uh, hmm. I mean, he's not the most aggressive guy, but immortals, and then you have the vultures. So, really, I need my own uh, metal, I need copper to really. I mean, like three archers won't cut it if they attack. If they attack me, that won't be enough. And there will be some border tensions, you know. So I need to think about my defense here yeah, a little bit. I also need to think about my next technology. Um, I want to put my second city, like, if I don't find anything else. Sure. I'm hoping there's something down here, yeah, that I can grab. And you can do something with that if you have to. I mean, sugar is not exactly. It's for it's for food. It's essentially dry rice. It's not the worst uh, thing that you can settle. Um, I have agriculture, so that's that's a plus. I get the stone, which if I wanted to build walls or something, that's that's still valuable. I c and can uh, you know even if I decide that I don't want the pyramids, you can get some fail gold for that. So that's um, not not crazy to go for that as your second city. Now, I wonder about yeah, like I like I explained, I don't think archers are really the answer. Um, I think I think my own X-Men are the answer. Regarding barbarians, I think I should be fine if Hannibal is in the south. Darius kind of covers that area. Here we don't seem to have too much land. And there are some good defensive positions I could take up with warriors. Here as well, and the rest is pretty much covered by the AI. So I don't think that archery is the answer and that archers won't save me from my neighbors. So I think I just go bronze working and make it my first priority to get copper, um, settle for copper rather than the stone, you know, because uh, I might just be building a pyramids for my neighbor. He sends three, three vultures, one archer, one spearman. And I have like no defense because I put because I put 300 hammers into the pyramids 
even with stone, it's not like they are cheap, yeah, 250 hammers. That could be um, like 8 X-Men. You know, not quite, but... You get the idea, I think, yeah, so I I don't want the pyramid thing. Um, no, so I, I will farm that, obviously, mine, mine. I can farm the die tiles, I can do quite a bit here. I would like iron working, but... Don't think I want it badly enough to beeline it. Don't think I'm that desperate. No, yeah, but bronze working. Is there any other option that makes sense? Like fishing? No. I mean, I have a lake, but these tiles are the same as a lake, so I don't think. Don't think fishing is really the answer here. Pottery. Yeah, pottery maybe makes sense, but really, I want. I have no land, kind of. I'm getting a little boxed in potentially. So pottery is not really, you know, helping with that. Hunting archery, when we talked about that. Masonry doesn't do anything right now and I can't do anything. Animal husbandry, well, I have no justification for it. So I think bronze working is a natural choice. And we are scouting. Okay, so that's... Um, I go back because, yeah, that's horses. Uh, I go back because, well, don't want to fight him. Might have to fight him, but... Try to get on that tile, maybe. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we, we mine that, I guess. Size 3 settler. Now this is a good question. Yeah, stupid archer is gonna be there now. Hmm. Okay, so let's think about it. I need 22 food. Plus 7. So it doesn't really shave off a turn. And I will be size 3 for a while, building a set line worker and this gains me like 8 commerce, quicker bronze working, mine that, mine that, maybe I have copper nearby, there's a good chance of that I'd, I'd say, it's not impossible. And yeah, I have decent food here, commerce is a bit lacking. Production, we are working on production right now. So let's do that. Um, yeah, this is a good question now, where to, where to go. If I run into the archer, I, I die. On the other hand, I need to scout. However, if I do that, I can then... Sure. Nah, I'll do that. Kinda want to finish a warrior though before... Before starting the settler. He's scouting information, man, I can't... I'll wait here for a bit, maybe he comes back, I get some fortification bonus. And kill the archer. That's my... That's my game plan now. But if he doesn't come, I'm just standing here looking like an idiot. No, I can't do that actually. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. I need information. Maybe he died, who knows. 
imperialistic, so cheaper settler. Yeah, the thing is, where the hell do I go? I need to go towards the copper, but if there is no copper, I'm a bit, a bit lost here to be perfectly honest with you. Mm. Well, this is a decent defensive position. He, if I get attacked, it's likely gonna be across the river. So if he's not smart enough to go here, which he probably won't be. Going here gets the gold, but when did he settle that? I can actually just see how much culture he has, probably. Every do is 42 culture. Generates two per turn, so like 26, no, 21 turns and... No, what am, what am I talking? He needs 58 culture. So 29 turns for 58 culture. If I immediately start on a monument, maybe whip the monument, I can probably keep um, hold of the gold. Um, but if he ever attacks me, I'm really in a bad position here. The chance of him attacking me is well, not not that low. No, it's not like he's Shaka, but putting that on his border. I feel like if I go here, I commit myself to gifting him a settler, maybe. So get him too pleased before border tensions really kick in and he he starts thinking about hitting me. I am imperialistic, so the, I am imperialistic, so the cost of gifting a settler is a bit lower than normal. And we need to, before really making a decision, we kind of need to know, uh, first of all, where, where does he put his third city? If he goes here, then that's that, pretty much. Second question is, do I have copper? If yes, where do I have the copper? I also feel like... Um, I might have some issues with barbarians pillaging my corn, but uh, as we go for a settler for now, he has slavery. So if he, we'll see what he does in a moment. I'll go that way. That way. Okay, there's one archer. I don't think that's the same guy that we that we saw earlier. Okay, there are two archers. Preferably I would get on this tile here. I also feel like this is not a bad... It's not a bad... Um, yeah, let's, let's go here, take that... Take that hit, see what happens. Yeah, we, we saw what happens. There's another archer here, yeah, things are not going that well. Yeah. He got a third city, doesn't seem to have copper just yet. After this we need to pump warriors. Timing works out, oh, might be a Pangea. Maybe he kills the archer. I will go here. Well, that's my second city, probably. I will chop. Maybe keep this tile because um, I can defend on this tile. Uh, if an archer goes here, I can put one guy here and make him attack him, maybe. Instead of losing the mine. So maybe I chop this. 
it also puts me in that position to reach the gold and to reach the, the sugar. And now to see if we have copper. No, we don't have copper, which, which is really not not so good. Probably kill this guy. It's not so good because, well... Uh, yeah, okay. I think we go archery because of that. Need to have something better than warriors if they start plotting. I don't want to just gamble on not getting attacked. On these Pangea type maps, you never really know, man. There are four guys, maybe more, who could just um, come from the other side of the map. And when they start plotting, I already want to have my defense, at least the ability to build archers and not having to rely on like warriors and diplomacy. But this also means that gifting, gifting him a city is very high on my agenda because well, if he sends in, like he is the most likely, like his biggest threat, so to speak. If somebody attacks me, it's probably gonna be him. There he is, I don't, we have this jungle kind of separating us a little bit and Hannibal, I have no idea where Hannibal is and he has other, he's another target, another target probably but as far as I know I'm the only guy that he can attack and he is, um, if he sends in vultures I don't want to be there with archers uh, so hunting archery and especially if I do grab the gold, I can... Why don't I see his culture anymore? Yeah. Um, oh, there's no monument yet. So if I... Uh, going monument first is really... Very bad, but... Yeah, so we gamble on making him gamble on making him a friend. In fact, yeah, I also need warriors though. Because my friends here, my neighbors, haven't been such a big help yet. I hope he sends an archer here, gets rid of that guy. I hope Darius cleaned up here. Maybe I don't ever see any barbarians entering my borders but it's turn 33 and I have no defense so yes I am going for I'm going for oh that's a bit if I if I do this I lose two hammers since it's 32 and I shouldn't put in more than 30 I might get two gold from that because I'm um, play with a buffy mod. Not sure, not, not a big difference either way. I could also put the overflow into a settler, which would be really quite, you know, quite significant as you can see. But that leaves me with no defense for the next few turns. So I'd rather, I'd rather take the, take the, um, two warriors now. And yeah. Here I will go on, I, I will do this, I think. And... Oh uh, yeah, it's a good question. Probably wrote here. I need to be, I need to get the sugar, I will whip a monument, yeah. And then do that. So I have one turn to kill. The best thing I can think of is a road. Could also do that. Something like that would be would be fine, I think. 
Let's do that actually. Sure. Guess we are reaching size um, size four, which is not. Open borders dairy as well. He has no religion, but fine. Get some relation. Um, well, and here's the thing I need to turn 35 men, and oh god. I need to be here to defend my new settlement, kind of see what's gonna happen. Chase two rabbits, you will lose them both. Oh, Kublai Khan. Another bastard. Great wall has been built. Carthage, nice. Well, that's not nice, I think. Probably my neighbor, but the archer is good. Okay, so Gilgamesh is here, Kublai Khan is here, I should be fine. I mean, you would think that I'm, I should be fine. Let's move that guy here. That guy here, go and take a good position. And everything is, is great, everything is just perfect. I still want archery, well, let, let's, let's work with food and... I go for a settler. I'm gonna, oh my god, man. I'm gonna whip it actually. No, I'm gonna whip the settler here. God damn it, man. Why couldn't anybody kill him? Okay, so I'm completely, completely fine here. I just fuck bus that tile, maybe, maybe, maybe even go here and I'll be bold and all that. Um, here, yeah. Let's go back and fix that problem, and then we see what happens. Okay, so I'm whipping that settler as a gift. For Gilgamesh, with Silver most likely way I lose the game here. Don't think he has, you know, he might have copper, who knows. He has chariots. No metal yet, but you can bet that he is going iron working. And I am mipping that settler. Overflow into another settler, probably. And Okay, he didn't enter yet, he didn't initiate entering yet, so that's, that's nice. This warrior, I don't know, man. Let's, let's see what happens if I... Okay, I'm fine, I can... There won't be any barbarians here, I, I kill that guy, hopefully. And you have to check out what's here in the south. Um, not much space to work with. Oh, I didn't, I forgot whipping. Which is fine, but I uh, could have... Could have been a turn... Quicker here. Hope that won't... Um, hope I won't regret that. Okay, so, well, let's... Um, let's yeah. No, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I am saving the overflow. 
Ich hätte ihn genau schon. If you press one, you can clear your production. Um, I have 23 hammers. 26, so that's one, one turn archer. So that way it's almost like a planned vert. Getting that archer quickly. Okay, so we want to give the city probably somewhere in the desert, completely useless. Uh, could gift it here, but that maybe I want the land here. Not sure I want to gift him a thing there. I probably, probably don't, in fact. Can we two turn this? We can. Um. So you, you see, this add, adds up to plus nine. This adds up to plus eight. This adds up to plus eight. It's like rounding. You you lose stuff by you know the game rounding down. So I do this for plus nine, and then next turn I turn up my slider and get archery, hopefully. This way I don't get anything stolen from me. Why are there two, uh, why are there two archers? Why do there have to be two archers? That's what I want to know. Yeah, still not entering yet though. So that's not too bad, okay. So we want here yeah, plus nine, um, plus nine. That's plus eight again. Plus nine, yeah. Okay, Gilgamesh will trade. He scouted. You know he can trade with me now because his boat scouted the river, which leads to the coast and connects to my city and he has vision of all that so now he can trade with me. Um, I have nothing to give him though. Otherwise I might just for relations. Can I know how much culture he has? No. Is that a library here or um, library let's see. Library. No, it's not a library, but what is that? Is that a green? No, it's not a greenery. A barracks, I think. Yeah, he, he built a barracks. So no culture building, so I should have plenty of time to... Get that. Probably, and not here because it's gonna pressure my gold tile. Yeah, something like that, man. That's, you know, just... Just so he doesn't bother me, that, that idiot. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, 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 okay, here we go. Let's give me that archer. Oh, I hope that guy wins this fight. Otherwise, we might lose the farm, which would really suck quite, quite hard. At least I won't be pillaged here if I just mine this shit. Can't, okay, so Darius might be a good guy and help me with that guy, but I don't think my mind will be saved by that. Yeah, not going iron working, that would be... Not sure what we are going for yet, to be honest. Probably, well, either way, um, with the monument. Next turn, 
Pottery is a placeholder, might go for pottery, might might go for something else, thank god for that man. Okay. So there's one archer here. I might be able to save that by going here. If he attacks me. That's good. If not, well. And I put one turn into an archer, so I could technically whip him. If if I lose that fight for some stupid reason, I can whip another archer and not lose the game, you know. So we did that now. We want to settle. Yeah, I mean, I can't go here. I can go here or here. Here puts some pressure on my tile, tiles. Well, long term, you know, on the stone and all that. I could go here, yeah. Really out of the way. Maybe let's see what I'll do. I kind of, if he has metal, I might do it next turn. Just to get him to please one turn earlier. Right now, if he doesn't have metal, he can't start plotting on me. But if he... Yeah, dude, can you tell me something different, dude? How about chariot? Yeah, so I might take a turn and march here and yeah. Okay, so we got a monument, we uh Growing Constantinople. I would really like to keep the mine if you don't mind. Please. Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh. How could you do that to me? Maybe masonry actually is. Ah, uh... oh, the humanity, man. Okay, so not here. Ah, oh, man, I'm, gi I'm giving him a good city. That sucks really hard, dude. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, that sucks, man. I could go here, but... That's bad for me, that's not good for me either, so... Ay, ay. Ay, god. Okay, so does he have metal now, maybe? Don't think he found it in the last turn or chariot. So if I do it here, maybe I'll set him on the path to conflict with De uh, Persia. Yeah, I see no really good way to. I see no good solution, man. I could put it here, may actually. Now that, that again puts pressure on the gold, it's third ring and he's creative man, and I lose the gold. He will get this anyway, so yeah. Screw everything man, it's bad. Okay, so masonry, I don't know, do I want masonry? Um. Give me one second actually, I need like 20 seconds here. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm back, just give me one second here. Um, yeah, so what do we have here? We have that stupid art, huh? And... Well, seeing as I lost a mine here, I 
we'll grow the size four and rip another something. How long have I been playing for anyway here? Ah, oh, 45 minutes. Okay, let's play 15 more minutes for sure. Um, gold mine. Yeah, gold mine is good. It's, it's gonna be a size two, just building workers. Financing my empire pretty much. But I need some actual like expansion. It's a good city, it's a decent city, not the best. If I didn't do this man, this would be a good third city. No, actually no, it's not a good third city, but yeah, anyway, so I need to do things. Oh yeah, I, I won that fight, didn't I? A fortify here, I'll even heal up actually. Maybe I can do something over there. Still not obvious to me where to put my next city, unfortunately. I hope this archer can give me some information. And regarding masonry... Mm, it gives me the stone, which is... Which is okay, but... Nothing to write home about. Could go iron working man. And actually I have yeah man, you know usually it's a bad choice because you can just freaking go alphabet and then trade for iron working. It's it's a free it's a free pickup, yeah. But if you think about it for a moment, if I want to got, get alphabet, I need writing. That's no. First, I need pottery. That's one thirty-five. I need writing. It's another two hundred. So we are at three hundred plus beakers. I need alphabet. It's another five hundred beakers. So eight hundred beakers. When I could just go for iron working now. Which is less than half of that. I might want to pick up pottery. Like if I if I really went for iron working, I would still want to pick up pottery. I will do that. This worker in fact will uh This worker will Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit tricky, man, to pick up um, a good city spot. I think pottery is a, is a must. Yeah, couldn't... He died, but couldn't he have done that? And now I get jungle on that, man. Just adding, adding insult to injury here. Couldn't he have done that one turn earlier and saved my mind? Hmm? That's my question. That's what I want to know. That's all I want to know. Oh uh, god, do I really gift him that, man? Or do I... Do I go here and... Yeah, maybe... No, in, I, I want them to fight, man. This is a... Yeah, but... If I go here, I don't know if he will even take it. Ah, it's also complicated. Okay, I will do it here. You know why? Because he will get it anyway, but that puts pressure on... 
If I go here, I might run into barbarian. It's all so complicated, dude. I can't go here, it's too risky. My warrior here is kind of... Oh, he's, I need him to be... I will go here, actually. But... I think this is better. Might also get the liberation bonus. See what we can find there. Pottery. Oh, I can't go here. Can go here though. Everybody getting border pops, everybody messing with me, man. Well, what's going on? Organized religion. But that means he just founded a religion. Kublai Khan did. Monotheism. Okay, so we got a gold mine. Wonderful. Can't, can't grow there any quicker than that. Feeling this might no no nobody hates him that much. I won't get traded with worse enemy. Yeah, here we go. Choke on that, you bastard! Act of generosity. Yeah, this is not too bad actually because it's one to one tile further north, and I thought this won't bother me too much. Okay, so now we are chopping. Choppy choppy. Need to get here. Yeah, there's no there's no good way to really get there, so I just um just bite a bite a bullet and Okay. Come on, man, give me somewhere to settle, dude. Okay, he's fuck busting that, so let's. Yeah, that's something, but that's not really the answer. It's not really the answer, man. No, oh, there's my copper, nice. Okay, so let's, let's do let's do that and actually yeah, it doesn't really want hammer whatever. Take the two commerce. Um, he's fuck busting there. So okay, I, I see how it is. Could have chopped here as well, but really I want to um, I'm gonna chop here because this should be another worker. Need I need that to cottage. Chopping here would lead to a dead end, kind of. I want my worker to centrally to. Well, maybe I could have chopped here. I don't know. I think that's that's fine. I think. So we go here for chopping. This guy slow builds a worker, but really there's nothing else he can do. So it's like, yeah, no worker here is better because I don't really benefit from the imperialistic trade. If I had the stone tile improved, that's another thing. But I, I don't. So I just. Worker, then finish with Archer probably. Um, keep in mind that Sumeria can still technically plot on me, being pleased, but it's way more unlikely. So I will get a settler. I have no idea where to go, man. However, I thought about. Yeah, it's it's really it's, it's bad, but 
Why is he running his immortals? Where? That's my question. Yeah, you know what I will do? I will block off Gilgamesh, stupid bastard. If it's not too late, I would like to block him. And this has been a huge disappointment down here. There's so many guys running around, barbarians won't be a problem, but of course I pillaged my mind before that. That's very disappointing, man. Okay, so pottery anyway. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Of course, you build a road here. Oh well. Yeah, I think I think it's not bad to block him off. Yeah, it's really it's really not great, but the thing is there's no particularly convincing spot right now. That would immediately help me. That's not the answer. It's really not the answer to go down here. This is great, but I don't have iron working, so unless somebody gifts me that now, that's not uh, not the answer either. I'm a bit afraid that some idiot, looking at you, Darius, that some idiot just plops a city down here on my border. It, it might happen. If it happens, it's annoying, man, but I can, I could still go here and work that later. And I could still use that. So I don't think they can ruin that for me um, too easily. I could go here now, but I don't have, uh, it's far away, I don't have a tech to really improve anything. Can't improve a single tile here, actually. And so that's also bad, yeah. And where does that leave you? Where does that leave me? It leaves me in a situation where I want to minimize costs while maximizing the impact impact of my city, right? So if I if I go here, the city is pretty no, it's not not convincing but it it breaks even immediately it's very close um, it can take the corn and leave my city uh, with nothing much so yeah it's not it's not great by any means but importantly more importantly it blocks off this little area here which is good for you can get two cities out of that which would put me at 5. Then I get Calendar, Constantinople can work with Banana, and this thing will actually be moderately useful. Alternative would be to go here, costs a lot, I have no fishing, not connected, I have no worker here. I could go here, but this just doesn't do anything really, it doesn't impact the game in any meaningful way. I could go here but that costs more and I would have to go fishing now and it takes me another 15 turns to get a work boat just to have a 4 food, 2 commerce tile. No, 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 no. I'm going here and that's that's the last. That's all I can say about that. I just go here and fog bust. Fog busting the whole area now with my worker, uh, warrior. And the decision I have to make now is do I go writing and aesthetics, try to use a marble down the line, 
Or do I just beeline iron working and make use of the fact that I have two gem or one gem tile? I think that it's kind of close in a way, but I don't think iron working is significant enough for me to justify that move. It would only make sense if it's like really a game breaking thing for me to have iron working like 10 turns earlier. But I don't see that having gems and rice is such ga uh, such a game breaking thing. So instead, or rather, I will select writing and I will think about it a little bit. But most likely I'm going for writing. Although I'm not sure, to be honest. Also, so many guys. Somebody will get alphabet. I can get this Fedex. I can reach this Fedex by working the gold mine. Maybe cottaging a few tiles here. Yeah, just slow growth. Get the worker. And think about it. Open borders, Gilgamesh. And speaking of that, speaking of the devil. Um, he's going math, but he got alpha. Oh, yeah, we can't do anything. Well, maybe we can. Probably not, but uh, he'll probably get that, unfortunately. Nah, there's a, a piece of crap down there. However, I will only settle that when when I have to. There's a settler here. He will march him there for sure. But I don't want since that's really just blocking has blocking value. I don't have to block anything yet, so we'll hold off on settling just for a moment. Finish the worker. Yeah, three turns is a bit longer than I thought, but that's fine. And it's a bit sad, but we need to think about farming some some tiles here am i sure about writing well i'm not sure about writing i'm not but i think i think iron working is a dead end i get iron working it would make sense i feel in a few other scenarios if i if i had more jungle maybe maybe two gems yeah i don't count this i don't think i will get this there's no good way to grab everything here. Um, if I had a bit more jungle, maybe less AI to trade with, more impact from iron working. Yeah, and less other options. I I would go iron working now, but since I do have land available, it's only one gem. I have met five guys, probably I can meet the the last guy as well. I think I just go as FedEx and tra trade for ironworking, trade for math, trade for uh, all this stuff and at the same time put myself in a good position to secure the, the great library and the national epic and all that. So go ironworking, um, writing I mean. If I was playing without tech trading though, yeah, iron working might be the might be the move here. So let's just get the worker out and then I'll Yeah he got metal now so I, it's nice that he is pleased with me. 
Yeah, nothing, nothing spectacular over there. Why is he marching his his stuff here? It's a bit. Bit annoying to be honest. So I finish the road here, then do I farm that? Or, or what's the deal? I feel like I need a granary uh, having so little food, I need a granary. So maybe I. I could also go here, but that's that don't think that offers any benefits. Nah, not really no. I might ruin a fish though if I go here. Sure. Probably not. So we want to chop, right? Finish the greenery and all that. Maximize food. This worker can go here and then cottage maybe. I think investing into the greenery is a really good idea. I don't have that much food if I if I share if I share it all that much if I share it too much um, yeah. what does that city do like uh, what is it going to am I gonna keep it at size 2 and just whip workers do I no, I will also need a greenery that's, that's clear Yeah, very, very quite tough, really. Right, let's go and shop that. It can't be, can't be too bad of a decision. And yeah, I think I'll take a break here for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon. And yeah, it's good to be back. Have a nice uh, day and uh, evening, whatever. And I should be uploading the second part in a day or two, we'll see about it.